All right, so for poaching eggs, which I honestly don't think is too scary, you wanna use a big pot of water. There's just like more room for the egg to kind of move around. And you wanna make sure that your pot of water is, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but like at a hard simmer. Like you don't want it so boiling that the water is really disruptive and it's gonna shake the egg a ton. But if it's not moving at all, then the egg will just completely sink to the bottom and there won't be any movement rolling that egg white over the egg yolk. Similar to scrambled eggs, you're always gonna wanna make sure that you're cracking your eggs into a bowl first. And then we're gonna do a little whirlpool trick. So you're gonna stick your spoon in, swirl the water, and then that center whirlpool is where we're gonna drop our egg into. As it's slowing down is when you wanna add your egg. If it's still going too heavy, if the whirlpool's too fast, then the egg's just gonna be like, whoa. You wanna let the egg go and do its thing in there until you kind of can't see any of that translucent egg white anymore. With a poached egg, you want the egg yolk to still be quite runny. But again, no one wants like a runny egg white. And that is a poached egg. So we're gonna blot it, get all the extra water off there, and then you're ready to eat. So that's the traditional method. But if you were doing a whole bunch, we've got a trick for you. So instead of a big deep pot, we're just gonna use like a saute pan that has flat sides, like three or four inches deep, that you can put some of these heat safe glass bowls and have them completely covered in water. And for this one, I can do like three, maybe even four at a time, depending on how big your bowls are and how big your pot is. And then same deal, you wanna crack your eggs into a separate dish. But what I'm gonna do is actually go from one dish to another. And what that bowl is gonna do is it's gonna keep the egg contained in that space. This is cool because you can get a nice rounded shape every time, but it's gonna look a little bit different than your classic poached egg. If you're just doing this for your friends and family at home, I don't think anyone will mind. It'll still taste the same. It's easier for you to do a whole bunch of them. And then it's a little less intimidating way to approach poached eggs. Really good, nice, soft, delicate way to have an egg. And it's also kind of an impressive way to serve something that's pretty cheap.